I'm so sorry I have not been making any videos. You guys can probably tell by the tone of my voice that I'm so sick still, but I just have to make a video because I haven't seen you guys in so long. Plus, there is some big headlines that I want to discuss with all of you. So for those who haven't come across this news yet, basically a transgender woman was held in a men's jail and it was blown up on Twitter. Everyone was really like outraged. Everyone kept sending me like posts and like, have you read this truly? Like talk about it. So that's what I'm here for, I guess, is just to raise awareness. So her name is Avery Edison and she's from London. She came over to Toronto to visit her girlfriend and she was here on a visa. So basically on her way home, um, immigration stuff, they stopped her and it seemed like her visa, she stayed longer than her visa. So there was like a little issue going on. But while they were going through that, they found out that she was transgender, um, even though her passport says it's female. And they detained her for like 12 hours. And then she was like twittering on her phone, saying how they treat her so bad and called her him, it, her, this and that. It was just so brutal, it sounded like. And I can totally relate um, on that kind of level. So yeah, that's kind of the issue. And then after that, they put her into a men's jail for her to stay there. Like, first of all, what is going through your mind? I feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of ashamed to be in Canada now. Like, that is so wrong. How can you put a person that looks like a female, that is a female, into a men's jail? Like, how wrong is that? Can you imagine what would happen to her? Like, the guys in there would probably, like, kill her and rape her to death. Like, do you not understand? Like, this is just so wrong. I feel like these officers and these higher up people need some education and come up with a law that protect transgender people and their rights like obviously these officers didn't know what to do with a transgender person so they just put her in a men's jail that is so wrong that's inhumane you don't do that and it really outrages me that i'm reading all these stuff online that people are like if it has a penis, it should be in the men's jail. Like, that is so wrong. Like, if I had a dick, my dick wouldn't define who I am. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just so wrong. I want you guys to take a step back and visualize this with me, okay? This is how I feel and this is how transgender people feel. Because still, some people don't understand what it's like. So, say you're a girl or say you're a boy. Pretend you put a mask on your face of the opposite gender. You know, looking through the mask, through your eyes, this is not right. Like, you're not a man. That's just a mask. That's not who I am. That's my outer shell. That's my body. Like, in a nutshell. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's how transgender people feel. That's how I feel. I think like a woman. I act like a woman. I am a woman. I'm just trapped in a male's body. And for people to come up to you and say, sir, it, him, and treat you differently, it's just horrible. You know, I want to take this mask off and to prove to you that I'm just a regular, normal girl but it's just so hard. You get treated so differently and you just don't understand why. So imagine you're wearing this mask of the opposite gender and people are treating you like the mask. That's not you, that's not who you are. Who you are is behind the mask. So after all the outrage that was going on online, they finally put her into a female's jail, which was a relief. And just hearing these news just made me so angry. Like, I'm still furious, I'm still outraged. Like her passport said female. Let her be in the female cell. I just don't understand. People are not, people are stupid. You know, I wasn't born a female, but if I was put in jail, like, what jail would they put me in? Like, I don't want to be in a male's jail. That is why I got laser hair removal. Just in case they did put me in a male's jail, I wouldn't be so hairy. Okay. But anyways, I just want to give you guys my two cents on the topic um, and how I feel about it. I think it's wrong. There should be laws protecting transgender people if something like this happens ever again, God forbid. But laws, like more knowledgeable people, these people just don't know the difference between gender and sex. But that is all. Thank you for watching, guys. My throat is really hurting, so I can't talk anymore. But I will see you guys later. Bye. Mwah. How would you like it if you were put in the opposite jail? I mean, the guys would probably love it, but like the girls, like no. You know, we see ourselves as women. Come on now. We're precious. We're beautiful. We're gorgeous. We're Connor.